How are you feeling today? Oh, uh, not too bad. I went out for a walk. Oh my gosh, it's so cold, isn't it? I got three of these Garnier Skin Active Moisture Bomb Sheet Masks. These are really good. You can just buy like little gifts like these and add to them as part of a present. If like me, you've just recently finished the Crown Series 5. If you're looking for another royal fix, of course, the Harry and Meghan documentary is out today. Three hour long episodes. You're going to binge that later. Or are you putting it off, reading that it's also the most popular day today for work Christmas parties? So maybe you've got that uh, to look forward to later. And of course, it's Christmas jumper day. So you're already suited and booted and ready for the night out. And listen, an artist who was famous for wearing a Christmas jumper in his Christmas music video, Shaking Stevens next, and that cracker is going to be pulled, but what's inside? guys how are you doing i have just got back from doing a little bit of shopping oh my gosh it is so chilly outside today was the day in the uk <laughs> that rhymes <laughs> today is the first day that it's been so cold like really really chilly like frozen could possibly snow kind of weather like it's been so cold today I stepped out this morning for my morning walk and I had to come back in, put on another jacket, like my proper winter like jacket. So I'm all wrapped up. I'm feeling cosy, feeling nice and cosy. Although I don't like, you know when you have these hats and like they kind of rise up off your head sometimes and then they end up going like that and then you look a bit like you've got a condom on your head. I hate it when that happens so I'm constantly pulling it down at the back to make sure that I don't have that like condom bit at the top because it's not really a vibe is it <laughs> let's go through everything I got from Aldi first of all before it goes off I thought this beef stew and dumpling ready meal could be handy just to chuck in the microwave if I have a day where I just don't fancy cooking. I thought I could roast my own potatoes and add it to this to make it feel a bit like, like a lazy roast dinner. So I think I might do that on the weekend. That'll be nice, so I got that. 10% beef mince. This sounded really nice. Two brie and bacon chicken breast fillets with a port and cranberry sauce. When I saw this in Aldi, I just saw the brie and bacon chicken breast fillets part and I thought in my head, that would be really nice if it had some cranberry sauce with it. And it does. And then I read below and I saw that it does have cranberry sauce. So yeah, I just thought that would be a nice little cosy, festive kind of dinner. Aldi caramelised onion pork sausages. Their onion pork sausages are really nice. Like they taste a bit like the Lincolnshire or the, what are they called? beginning with C. Is it Cumbridge? Cumbridge? Or Cumberland? Cumberland. Cumberland sausages. They taste a bit like that, like, you know, the good quality, like, proper meaty sausages, not, like, lots of processed kind of taste. Carrot, sugar snaps and kale with garlic melt. Sounded good. Some asparagus, four lots of broccoli. <laughs> I eat this pretty much every day, so... I always need like a decent amount of broccoli. Oh, I just hit 10,000 steps on my Fitbit. That is not something that happens on the daily. Can you see that? It's not focusing. <laughs> it's 
upside down now. Oh. Okay, I'm sure you can, you'll just have to believe me. Malted bloomer bread, Audi bread. Very delicious, it tastes so fresh, so nice. Three tins of these baked beans. I'm absolutely loving baked beans on toast for lunch. Like, it's just such a simple thing, but I just think they taste so nice. So I got three of those because this is my current comfort yummy meal. One pack of these. And I got six eggs as well. Just a bit of a top-up shop, really, where you just need a couple of extra bits here and there. All together, that was £25.35, which I think is fabulous. Yeah, I say this every time, but if I went to Sainsbury's or Tesco, all of that would probably be around £50. So definitely Aldi is so much cheaper, even though it has gone up a little bit recently. I have also got some stuff from Sainsbury's and Superdrug. Uh, which I'll show you a bit later on because I need to... Oh, my nan's calling me. I need to pack this stuff away. Hello? That's so funny. Greg was FaceTiming at the exact moment that you called. Uh... <laughs> ah. You okay? And, and now he's ringing me. Ah. Yeah. Maybe he's at the house or something. Uh, let, let, let me, let me, uh, hold in a minute. Hold okay. in. Hello. Hello. Oh, yeah, he's gone now. What did he say? Uh, no, he was talking about the house. Uh, oh. He wants to exchange today. People who are buying their house wanted to come and see how everything works and things and whatever. And then he said that he'll call me. He's going to choir practice. He'll call me later. Choir practice? Mm -hmm. Oh, as in he's playing guitar? Yeah. Oh, right, okay. How are you feeling today? Oh, uh, not too bad. I went out for a walk. Oh my gosh, it's so cold, isn't it? It was so, so cold. I stepped out this morning and I had to come back in and, and change another jacket because it was just freezing. Oh gosh. It's already cold enough, is it? I know. Twenty-three minutes past seven, and I'm in my pajamas. Love it. I just want a super. Oh, those are the Audi bags. <laughs> um. Oh, they're still sticking out. Now you know where I keep my bags for life when I go food shopping. Oh my god, this is really annoying me keep them behind the door um i never close that door anyway uh what was i saying yeah it's 24 minutes past seven now and i'm in my pajamas and i just really want a super cozy chilled nice evening like i've had a stressful day it's been a long day teaching and i just want nothing more than to sit on this sofa or lie on this sofa with my carbonara in front of the christmas tree watching something nice on the telly that chicken and brie cranberry chicken thing that i got from aldi yeah so i was gonna have that for dinner 
but I realised that this carbonara was about to go off if I didn't eat, well actually no, it went off two days ago, but it's fine to eat food that's two days over, as long as it looks okay and it smells okay, because um, we don't waste food around here if we can help it. So for this, the carbonara, the use by date was the 6th of December. Today is the 8th of December. So I'm having that and a bit random. I've got like a slice of bread and butter. It's fresh bread, just been bought. And it's so nice, like dipped in the carbonara creamy sauce. Oh, so good. This is honestly just carb heaven right here. A plate of pasta and bread and butter. Creamy, cheesy goodness. Oh my gosh, I just wanna dive into this plate right now. I'm so excited to eat this. So yeah, I'm just chilling. Do you like my pajamas? I'm pretty sure you've seen them before because I wore them last Christmas, I think. Um, but yeah, they've got little robins on and candy canes they're from sainsbury's and i absolutely love them sometimes i notice that when i watch other people's youtube vlogs they wear their pajamas like the whole year round as much as i absolutely adore christmas as you know i just feel like wearing christmas pajamas in any other time that isn't christmas like in the summertime i just feel like that's a bit of an offense it's a bit of a crime it's it's just complete and utter disrespect towards Christmas and towards Father Christmas, Santa Claus. I just feel like, you know, the respect that we need is to make sure that we are committing during the festive period and Christmas pyjamas shall not be worn any other time but around Christmas. <laughs> because then it makes it more special. Um, but no, you do you. If you like wearing Christmas pajamas in June, go ahead. What shall we watch? Where's my phone? It's gonna be a YouTube video. I mean, do I watch anything else? Not really. I've actually got a Netflix subscription that I pay monthly and I need to cancel that because I just do not watch it. I think I've watched one series of love is blind once and that's it i don't think i've ever watched netflix apart from there maybe like once or twice but definitely not in the last year it's just a waste of money so <laughs> i think i'm gonna cancel it because yeah i'm just not making use of it to be honest i'm just a youtube girl through and through if ever i have any spare time I'm gonna watch a YouTube vlog. I was thinking of getting Disney Plus. Disney Plus just seems like it would be my kind of vibe. If you have Disney Plus, let me know if it's any good. Speaking of Disney, I think I showed you my phone case in my decorating my Christmas tree video, a couple of videos ago now. Um, but I didn't show you it on my phone, I just showed you it in the packet. So this is what it looks like. Can you see? Sorry, my fingers are covering up some of it. Oh my God, I don't wanna drop my phone in my carbonara. Is it not just so cute? I absolutely adore this phone case. Every time I look at it, it just gives me so much joy. I'm just like, oh, so cute. One of the best things I have ever bought, ever. It's just, I love it. <laughs> Brogan Tate from YouTube. I don't know if you watch her, she's a YouTuber. She's just gone to Disney World and she's there for like two weeks imagine going to disney world at christmas time like going to disney world at any time of the year is absolutely incredible but going at christmas time oh my god it would just be the most dreamy trip ever like can you imagine oh my god that is like on my bucket list one day i've got to go to disney world at christmas and you know i'm probably gonna vlog so oh my god imagine the vlogs imagine disney vlogs at christmas wow i'm putting it out there i'm putting it out there into the universe we're manifesting that guys okay yeah oh my god <laughs> anyway i need to eat my dinner because it's going to get cold because i'm just rambling let's put on a vlog Becca Watson's got a video. 
Oh, it's between her. Shall I watch her or Megan? I think I'll watch Becca for now and then I might watch Megan Grubb a bit later. paper oh this wrapping paper is so cute i just got one roll and it's got little father christmases on it look i thought i could get this for my nan one of my nans uh, so i got her that and then for my dad i got him this atomic habits an easy and proven way to build good habits and break bad ones. It actually looks like a really good book. I mean, I feel like I would wanna read this myself, so I might go back and buy one for me too. It says, people think when you want to change your life, you need to think big, but world-renowned habits expert James Clear has discovered another way. He knows that real change comes from the compound effect of hundreds of small decisions, doing two push-ups a day, waking up five minutes earlier, or reading just one more page. I mean, who doesn't want to know secrets on how to better their life? Uh, I think everyone could probably do with a book like this. I don't know if it's really my dad's thing, to be honest. My dad's not really kind of into self-development and all of that stuff, but I think it would help him. He can sometimes be bit on the negative side of life so I feel like maybe this could I don't know spark something <laughs> I got two packs of these Maltese truffles just like you know nice little prezzies to wrap hello I'm here Canon G7X Mark II I'm here I'm here all oh, right you found me thanks <laughs> uh, then I got this perfume it's called artisante atelier lily amour ou de parfum i mean i think it's french i don't know but anyway it was just an affordable perfume it was like 10 pounds or 11 pounds or something and it smells nice actually i'm getting this for one of my nans i'm really really trying to like keep everything as budget friendly as possible so so hard at christmas because everything adds up i feel like i i mention this quite a lot here and there especially in my come shop with me's when i say about how i really want to buy this jacket or you know this dress but i'm on a budget i feel like i say that all the time but it's true everyone has different situations obviously and my situation is that i'm so so lucky for everything that i have and i'm so blessed and appreciative because i feel like i'm so rich in you know family and friends and like life but in terms of money <laughs> uh, not so much so i kind of just like the money that i make at the end of the month it all goes to bills you know council tax water bills electric gas all of that jazz petrol uh, and then i don't really have kind of anything left over at the end of the month after paying for all of my necessities this year especially i've had like more of a pay cut as well because when i moved companies from the chinese company i used to be with dada abc the teaching online company to camberley kids who i'm with now uh the pay is less so yeah that's made quite a change as well to my budget and it's made everything tighter so yeah i'm really really trying to just keep everything as minimum as possible bear in mind that all of these presents might seem very simple or basic or they might seem like that's not a present like that's a stocking filler both my nans are so supportive if i was struggling and i 
I don't know, couldn't afford to like buy food or I was struggling to pay a bill and had like absolutely no money, like I could go to them to help me and I'm so, so lucky. So I don't wanna make out like, I can't poor me, I'm really, I'm really, really struggling. I don't wanna make out like that because there are some people who, you know, don't have any family at all. Tempted to keep this for myself. Uh, this is the Makeup Revolution Ultimate Lights Shadow Palette. Some nice brown matte shades in it. It's got a couple of nice shimmers, like a bit glitzy for Christmas and like parties. So I might give this to one of my friends, maybe to Kaya, because she loves a bit of shimmer on her lid. So I thought she might like this. And Makeup Revolution is a brilliant, affordable drugstore brand. Um, like their quality is so good, even though they are super affordable. I think this was like 12 pounds or something. So yeah, I got three of these Garnier Skin Active Moisture Bomb Sheet Masks. These are really good. Like they make your skin feel so hydrated and plump and like you just feel like you've had a nice facial and that's the thing as well like when you're getting presents for people you don't have to get lots of really expensive pre presents you can just buy like little gifts like these and add them as part of a present i think i'm going to give these to my nan and maybe a friend or my auntie or something got this lipstick from max factor in the shade Rosewood. Obviously I can't open it because it's a gift, but it's just like a pinky brownie nude. My nan usually likes those kinds of lipsticks, so I got her that. I got this for me. This is the NYX Micro Brow Pencil in black. I think I'm down to like my last little bit on my last one. So I thought I'd best top up because there's nothing worse than having your eyebrow pencil. You're using it, you wind it up and you're like, oh, there's lots left. And then you're using it and then it snaps and then you're like, oh, great. <laughs> so it's always good to have another one just in case. I saw these Malteser reindeer. So I thought I would get these as well. These are for me. I'm gonna have these with hot chocolate, I think, tonight. What's the, oh, it's nine o'clock. Best get a move on. Slippers from Sainsbury's. These were 18 pounds, but they're not just standard slippers. They're memory foam slippers, you know, for added comfort. Very nice and soft. So I thought I could get those for my dad. Got myself some de-icer because as I said, it is cold right now. Uh, luckily, I don't really need to go out in the morning much. Like I remember when I used to go to work, when I used to work in an office back in the day and I would always have to rely on this because like obviously your car gets so iced up. So I'm so lucky that I don't have to like commute to a job in the morning. But yeah, obviously like you always need this because you never know when you're gonna need it. I got this for my dad. This is called Brain Box. It's basically facts about football, but it's like a game. I could not think of anything worse than Christmas pudding. I don't like it. Uh, are you a Christmas pudding fan? I'm, I'm really not. I don't like a mince pie either, uh, which is a bit of a shame because <laughs> a mince pie and Christmas pudding is like such a Christmassy thing, but I'm just not about the fruit in the cake. Yeah, it's just, it's not my vibe, but my dad likes Christmas pudding. So I thought that would be a nice little present, you know? Affordable presents, that's what we like. I got this hairspray for my nan, L'Oreal Paris Elnet hairspray. This is her favorite one, uh, but she doesn't often get it anymore because it's expensive. So she usually gets, I think one from Wilkinson's or something that's like a couple of pounds. I think this is to be fair, like the best, or well, one of the best hairsprays you can get. It just feels like a really good quality hairspray. Like it brushes out quite easily really. And it smells lovely too. So yeah, I've got her that. Oh my god, it's 20 past 10. <laughs> I really need to like go to bed, but I want one of these first of all. Maltesers reindeer. Oh, 
Rudolph the red-nosed reindeer had a very shiny nose and if you ever saw it you would even say it glows, it glows! Mm. This would be so nice with a cup of tea. I was going to make a hot chocolate but uh, I couldn't be bothered. <laughs> Mm. The mint just elevates the Maltese biscuit. Rightio then, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this little vlog. Chill vibes. Uh, I mean, most of my videos are chilled vibes, aren't they? But you know, that's what I love to watch, to be honest. Like, pretty chilled vibes. And I will see you in my next one. Good night. Bye.